Okay, Instagram hashtags. If you haven't been using them, here's why you should. Instagram has managed to create communities around hashtags and they're easy to find. If you literally search for a hashtag, you can find content that's related to it by the people who've used it. And this is content that is relatable. So hashtags, because of the communities that follow them, they're an easy way for your content to be found by more people, by a wider net and for people to actually find trends. Now, a lot of brands have been using hashtags for exactly the same reason, for their products, for their content to be found and reached by a wider net of people and for them to actually just keep track of trends. But the agencies that handle these brands now use hashtag research. And this is basically so that they can be able to find the right hashtags for the best impact. And this is what I want to teach you today, because I learned this the hard way through the agencies that I worked with, how to do hashtag research and how it works so well. Now there's basically two ways you can go about doing hashtag research. The first is to actually just get a paid tool. There are paid tools out there that help you to do hashtag research. A lot of people will ask, why bother paying money for a tool that's just going to show me hashtags? Well, here's the thing. If you've got money to put towards promoting your account or just promoting your content, realistically, you've got money to put towards a tool. You're going to want to use these tools because they'll help you get better quality following and better quality engagement. If you just pay to get reach and engagement, then you're probably just going to have every Tom, Dick and Harry find your account and you're not going to get the quality engagement or reach that you really deserve. So rather you put that money that you wanted to promote to your account towards a hashtag tool and get better quality. Now, there are three kinds of hashtags that you need to know. There's your highly competitive hashtags and these are the hashtags which are used well over 500,000 times into the millions. And those are difficult to rank for. If you post your picture and you use that hashtag, there's a good chance that it might be drowned out just by the sheer volume of people who use that hashtag. So these are your very, very, very common hashtags. You have your low competitive hashtags. These have less than 500,000 users or less than 500,000 posts. And these are fairly easier than your highly competitive. They're not as competitive as the high competitive, but they're still just as competitive. You have a better chance of having your content actually found out here. Then you have your niche or community hashtags. And these are the ones that are highly relatable to what it is that you do. These ones are usually about 100,000 towards like 10,000 posts that are done for those, for those hashtags. They're not used by too many people. They're used by the niche or the community that's related to them. So you've got your fitness people, you've got your food tags, you've got your photography tags, you've got your travel tags. The tags that are relatable or that can be used to a certain community or that can be attached to a location. Zim weddings, Zim photographers, Zim celebrities, Zim colleges, Zim universities. Things with a particular geographical tag, they come down in this category as well. So, what do you need to actually do hashtag research? Well, you need a couple of hours you need some way to write your some way to write and document your hashtags. So you're looking at Microsoft Excel, Google Sheets, or a note-taking app like Evernote. Then it'll help you a lot if you've already got some of your content laid out that you know that you want to use. If you're gonna be using a paid tool like Flick, Hashtagly, or in Grammar, you might not need as much time or a tool to actually just keep everything because these tools they automate everything for you. They do all the work for you. You just have to enter one hashtag or a keyword and they'll give you a long list of keywords that are related to that. All you have to do is pick and choose your high, low and niche keywords. The tools will store those keywords for you and some of the tools will actually then go on to give you a copy paste option or they will help you schedule the Instagram posts that you want to write. So we're not gonna dwell too much on the paid ones because it's straightforward. Once you pay for it, once you attach your account, it'll help you even do an analysis and you'll find the right keywords that you need. What we're gonna dive deeper into is the slightly more laborious method of doing hashtag research. And this is the one basically everybody can afford. 
what you want to do is within your Excel spreadsheet, your Google sheet, or your note taking app, you want to create three to six columns where you're going to header them with highly competitive, low competitive niche or community tags. Then you're going to open Instagram. You're going to go to the discover page and you're going to go to search within search. You're going to see the tab that says tags. And that's where we're going to do all of our research. When you click on tags, it's going to ask you for a hashtag. Now, depending on the niche that you're in or what it is or the content that you want to post, you already have a fair idea of some of the hashtags that's used. That's where you start. So in my case, I like photography. So I start with hashtag photography. Once you go into the, this is the sweet thing about Instagram. It's going to give you some of the related hashtags to that hashtag. And now you can get to do your research. You now want to keep track of the numbers that come up of how many people have actually used the hashtag. Now you can get to figure out how many of them are highly competitive, lowly competitive, and which ones are niche. So the niche ones are pretty easy to pick out because they probably have one of your related keywords and a geographical tag according to them or a brand tagged around them. So keep track, take a look at your hashtag, take the number, now start populating your notes, start populating your Excel spreadsheet or your Google sheet with all of these. List the hashtag, list how many posts it has and keep it going. You want to create lists as long as possible for related hashtags so that you can have all three populated. Now, how do you use these hashtags? Now, when you now have your relevant hashtags, attach them to relevant content. And the reason why you want to do this is because Instagram's image algorithm or artificial intelligence is now so good that it can relate your text to what's in the image. It can figure out what's in the image almost as good as a human and figure out if what you've written in it is actually matching. So if your hashtags aren't matching, it's not going to rank your hashtags properly. So you're going to miss out on a lot of people and a lot of people aren't going to be able to find your content. So use relevant hashtags for relevant content. You want to stack your hashtags. And when we say this, what I mean is that you want to start using your community hashtags because since they don't have too much traffic on them, you have a better chance of ranking there. So you want to pick five to seven community hashtags. Then you want to pick three, two to three low competitive and one high competitive. The reason why you want to do that is because when you manage to get ranked for your community tags, it's easier to then rank for your low competitive tags and it's then easier for you to rank for your highly competitive tags. Avoid using the same tags on all of your posts. Keep it fresh, keep it new for each post so that you can be able to track and see what's working and what isn't and to reach more people. Lastly, it will be very useful to you if you already have content that is laid out. So do this along with your content plan and you can be able to save a lot of time and effort. So try to make sure that when you're doing your content plan, you're also doing your hashtag research and it will save you a lot of time and effort. With that, I want you to take this, go out there and go do epic shit. Thank you.